What do we get with a drunken sorrow? What do we get with a drunken sorrow? What do we get with a drunken sorrow? A goofy with a sorrow. Darn old and goofy. Something? Damn it, sorry, I was Shut trying to think up. of something too. Shut up! Ah. Shut the fuck up! I was just trying to be long! Damn it. Damn you to hell. Oh shit, we got like a bunch of stuff we can do in this place now. What, like her? Uh, I don't know. She, she's something, you know. Mm. She is quite nice. She is, isn't she? She's got very fat lips. Are she's the like, people here meant to be disney or fantasy-fied or I kind think of both? somewhat both. He's right. got the exact same model as, as Tidus. Hmm. Um, she's just like some babe. Anyway, so we can do a bunch of stuff. We can take we can take all these shits out. Nobody likes uh, candles, really. This is the 21st century, for God's sake. And it opens this for some reason. That's something I never would have thought of. Yeah, defense up. It was definitely worth doing. That's kind of like a Legend of Zelda type thing, isn't it? It is. Oh shit, there's also a Trinity over here. Come on, everybody, let's jump on the ground like idiots. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that's different. Oh. The teleporters. Uh, there's been flooding in um, York recently, hasn't there? Yorkshire. Oh yeah, the Shire. Yeah, it's annoying because uh, when I went to uni, I went to Huddersfield, which is just in uh, West Yorkshire. And so a lot of the friends I made up there live in Yorkshire, so I've sort of been having like, oh, Yo, you're alright? And most of them seem okay. I don't think it hit any of them. Um, but one cool thing about it was uh, <laughs> there's this one guy who owned a Captain Jack costume and he dressed up as him and made a video. And he's just like, I like to see, but here's where I draw the line. This is where I draw the line. It's just like pointing the camera at the street. It's like, bugger. Drink up my hearties, yo-ho. And then you hear a little kid in the background going, Mom, look at this. What? Does he actually think it's him? <laughs> oh, no. I think he's just noticed. Either, yeah, either he's noticed him or he's just noticed like the street is absolutely covered in water. I don't know. Maybe. Right. I'm... Uh... Whenever you go back to Traverse Town, I never know what the th first thing I have to do is. Like, I've got the beginning bits, uh, you know, down to a T, because, you know, you have to do all that tedious stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, I'll just point out do you where all these crates are. A house will be here one day. Hmm. And you have to try and guess whose house it's going to be. Do you think it's because you, like, the <laughs> beginning is a bit you actually want to play, whereas, because you, like, s you make saves of each world, don't you, so you can skip to any bit you like, like a little chapter select for yourself. Yeah, I haven't done that for this game yet. Well, I've been doing what, it during what, our playthrough, which is a bit annoying. What I'm saying is, because Fuck. you do that, yeah, that's probably why you don't remember the Traverse Town bit so well, because you normally skip them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably why. Maybe. Oh, that's a tricky oh, one. You bastard! Oh, there you go. Alright, uh, oh yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you that store that has the Mad Hatter on it. Oh, two things, Daniel. There's one thing I want to say about my cartoon last video, and also, we mentioned Star Wars, but we didn't actually talk about it because we went on a tangent about the nature of fandom, didn't we? Yeah. Anyway, I was yeah. just going to say, with my new cartoon... Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, I tried to make as many as my own sound effects as I could, but, um, you know, obviously I met limitations with stuff I couldn't, like, imagine how to make. I was even... Stuck on a few, like the crossbow. I ended up making that out of a FUD sound mixed with a knife sound. Which I made... Uh, okay, yeah. You know, like, what people do when they're about to carve a turkey, they sort of... Sh sheath the two, um... Like, the fork and the knife against it to make that shing sound. Yeah. Yeah, I did a bunch of those. But, um, yeah, it got to the point where I just... Because I basically wanted all of the sounds to be mine, so I didn't have to worry about copyright law or anything. I wanted to cover my own ass. But it, yeah, it just got to. There are certain ones I couldn't do, so I ended up having to. Still, most of them are mine, but um, some of them are from YouTube. Um, there was a couple of it where it went wrong. What were they? One was um the footsteps, which I made by, like, uh, I used a pair of jeans, and sort of pushed down on them with shoes to make the sound. But the mistake I made was the microphone was on the floor. So, um, not only was it sort of getting second-hand vibration from the shoes hitting the floor, making the microphone go fud, but also because of the way I'd scrunched up my jeans, 
every time I hit them, it pushed all the air out of them and it made sound kind of like a uh, a puffy sound, which wasn't very nice at all. So, okay. It's sort of like a, you know, like the sound <coughs> of air being pushed out of clothing. Yeah. If you could imagine that. Puffy. Mm. And there was another, I can't remember it off the top of my head, but there was another one that was a bit of a failure. Fuck me! There's too many fat guys around it! So yeah, what did you think of a Star Wars film? Well, what do you uh, want uh, me spoilers, to say? Spoilers, by the way. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to say? Well, it was it was very, very similar to the original trilogy. It, had, it was mostly a New Hope inspired, but it had bits and pieces from all of them, like... The bit where, again, spoilers. It is kind of a new hope, though, is it? Because after the like the after the uh, most recent trilogy, you'd need a new hope. Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. Need, Star Wars needs a new hope for the franchise. Not, something to keep it alive. Mm. Not just drivel. Um. Yeah, but it's a new hope mixed with bits and pieces from Empire. Because the bit where Kylo Ren is speaking to Harrison Ford on the catwalk is a bit like Luke and Darth Vader, isn't it? Yeah. But kind of turned yeah. on its head. Absolutely. But that yeah. wasn't in the New Hope, was it? No, it was in Empire Strikes Back. Oh, your boo! But, um, now you didn't agree with me on this, did you? But I thought that structurally, Han Solo was kind of filling the Ben Kenobi road, uh, role. Yeah. I'd, and yeah. and my reasoning for that is that he's an old guy from the previous trilogy. Like, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I know they hadn't made the movies back then, but he was like, he was from the previous fight. And he was sort of training the new people, and then eventually he dies, doesn't he? Like trying to um, uh, help the others. The only difference is when Ben Kenobi left, he came back as a ghost, and he kind of let himself die so he could be that role. Yeah. Whereas it's a bit more tragic with Han Solo because he probably won't be back. Yeah. He uh, he won. Him. He, I don't think he will. Yeah. Uh, allegedly, he hates Star Wars. Uh, I mean. Not Han Solo. Uh, uh, Harrison Ford. Yeah, Harrison Ford hates Star Wars. And he's been wanting to die for ages. Uh, that um, Carbonite scene was originally supposed to be his death before they changed it, or something like that. Or he wanted him to change it. So yeah, he's kind of finally been cut loose. Yeah. And he's like, ah, oh, I love not being Han Solo anymore. <laughs> I love being a dead guy. And then they just like, hire him for something, you know, even better than Han Solo. Mm. No. It must have been tricky, like, not getting back to fandoms too much, but Star Wars was kind of, I mean, maybe Sherlock Holmes as well, but Star Wars was kind of like the original mass franchise fandom, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because Sherlock, that was just books, whereas Star Wars, you had the movies, you had the merchandise, you had everything. That was, that was like America's Pokemon, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, cure! I've actually got cure. I haven't did, really. Touched did you know they're making a Han a Han Solo solo movie? Really? Yeah, but it's set bef it's set when he's young, so um, they're gonna get another actor, obviously, not Harrison Ford. Oh, I know where I have to go now. And uh, I mean, obviously, anything can be good, but um, you know, sometimes mystery is better than answers, isn't it? Yeah, like. Uh... I don't know. If, if Harrison Ford do not want to be a part of it anymore, but he doesn't have to be. What? And the, disadvantage, the advantage for him is, because he played young Han Solo when he was young, Yeah. they can't really get another actor to play as him in, in something else. Well, he was in his 30s then. I think they're talking about like his 20s. So, uh, you know, obviously they're going to have to be very particular <coughs> about who they pick. Who was in his 30s? Like Han Solo. Really? Well, he... Probably, wasn't he? I don't know. I mean, he was calling Luke kid, and Luke was about 20, so... Makes sense he'd be an older person. Yeah. But, yeah, well, I mean, just younger. They're gonna pick someone younger, and it has to be... Because he's such an iconic character, isn't he? And Harrison Ford, you know, he... Is very, sort of, charismatic man. Uh, which, not a lot of people can match. Oh, why can't I compliment... Like what, ma no, male that, actors and I, stuff. I, I, no, it's not that. Yeah. Just I don't think he is a charismatic man anymore. He's a very old, withered man. Well, yeah. He's he, like, ugh, I hate everything. Ugh. I, I think that's part of his persona, though. He he's just grouchy. Kiss, he didn't even kiss Leia. He just no. hugged her. Well, what kind of old people don't. Well, I suppose. He still, he still loved her. 
Like the, the, they're beyond even they're not just beyond the the sex stage where like shush, old shush. people do. They're beyond the kissing stage. They're beyond any intimacy whatsoever. Oh well, maybe physical intimacy. Nah, nah. I mean, you know, I mean, <laughs> obviously kissing is kissing. like. A, Walking kissing me. <laughs> That's like the. Give her a smooch, rot in the fanny. Do you think if like kissing wasn't a social thing that we had, like imagine kissing didn't exist? Can you imagine someone inventing it? No. Yeah. Well, because I can't imagine anybody inventing sex. Well. I mean, the only thing I know. Well, no, because like that's sort of like a biological nature thing. Like that's kind of instinctual. I think they'd work that out, but would kissing exist? This sounds like sexual advice, like he's chef. So you found the keyhole, baby? Yeah! <laughs> what do I do with it? My keyblade locked it automatically! Damn it, Saul! Why are you asking me all these things? I can't answer you! Every world among the stars has a keyhole. <laughs> you need to find them all! <laughs> and stick your key in them! Yeah. What do you mean? And if you're feeling real kinky, you can have a keychain. The heartless ender through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. <laughs> what was I talking about a second ago? Uh, I'd, probably something I wouldn't care about. Mm. Just saying. What were you talking about? Oh, I'm just skipping through all these speech bubbles. That's the thing. You can't s look. He, look what he's doing. You have to speak to him again. Oh, well, that's a shitter. I know. Gummy block. Oh, like you ask him. You ask him about something you don't know anything about, and he just goes. Oh my god, I oh. have to use all my brain power for this one. I remember what I was going to say now, like, didn't you, wasn't it you who told me that in Japan they had this thing where they'd lick each other's eyeballs? Who? Didn't you tell me that in Japan it had become popular for young kids to like lick each other's eyeballs? Oh, well, yeah. not young kids, but you're, like yeah, young yeah, adults yeah. to lick each other's oh, eyeballs. Oh, don't even say it, it's yeah, horrible. It's, yeah, I mean, uh, how do you use it? That's a funny question. Look, and also I was gonna say, in the olden days, it was like, like parents would kiss their children on the lips, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's strange because if you saw someone do that today, you'd probably think it was a bit weird, wouldn't you? Yeah, I remember last time I saw that, I was like freaked out. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you making out of your dad? It's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it because Donald Duck, it, the reason I remember it is because of Donald Duck, there's a, <laughs> oh no, it's not Donald Duck, it's Daffy Duck. When it, remember when, it, um, I think Elmer Fudd's going to shoot him, and he's like, can I just say goodbye to my family? He's like, goodbye, Junior, and he's like, proper full-on kissing him on the lips and everything. <laughs> and then it turns out they're all his best friends, not actually his kids. But yeah, I wonder, like, when that started. That's strange. Oh shit. I just realised we're gonna get um, Bambi as a summon. It's like uh, in that episode of Friends where Ross has that ant that's always kissing him on the lips. He's like, why? Why always on the lips? What the fuck? What? You don't do anything. You fucking bitch. I'll kill you. <laughs> He's bibbity bobbity pooped. Oh, I can't believe that shit. I just got... Whoa. Goofy looks huge in that shot. He looked like he was gonna Gross. devour Sonic. Sonic? I mean Sora. <laughs> We're getting my main characters all mixed up. Come on guys, gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster. Do you think it would be cool? Do you know what I think they should do with Sonic to make him more likable? Is um, make him like Captain America. But he's like really sincere, like he really is totally radical and everything. But he's got like a more down to earth friend who kind of realizes how cheesy he is. Mm. Like maybe Tails or maybe Amy because like Amy is kind of just like a lovesick uh, I don't know, how would you describe her? Uh, she's prissy and lovesick, but then she gets really angry and smashes stuff. She's like the mm, creepy girlfriend. Yeah. Thing. I think if they... Because um, they're always playing about characterization, they should sort of make her the one who's like kind of aware of how cheesy Sonic is. Because then you can enjoy how cheesy Sonic is instead of thinking he's kind of behind the times. Yeah. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. We need to go see Sid again. So, if we can actually voice Sid, because he never talks in this game. Which is good. I was hoping we'd get a bunch more characters like this guy, who don't talk, and we'd just give him a voice. <laughs> you got right whenever I drop you need at the nephew shop. The nephew shop? What does that mean? 
Mm -hmm. Let's go see the nephew shop. <laughs> Can Who's we buy nephews? nephews here? No, it's where these guys work. Oh, okay. For some reason, they work here. They want a Disney They're castle. kids. Well, is, how is Donald cool with this? Is the state of the world so bad we have to resort to child labor? Look, he's, look. Oh my God! Look, he's impaled his nephew with his stick. <laughs> And look, oh, look at that. I've been impaled. Oh, dear. Poor him. Yeah, they might be in the next one. Oh, yeah. And Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. that'd be. Pretty what about fun. Marvel? Are they in it? God, Disney owns so many universes. Did I get the idea from this? It's like, oh, man, imagine if we owned all this shit. You know? Yep. It's, it's all them. about Kingdom Hearts, baby. That's why it's been delayed for so long. Kevin, Kevin Feige, or whatever his name is. Feige? Who the fuck is that? You know, the guy who directed Iron Man, and he's like head of the general Marvel I don't verse. I the director's names. I don't like them. I don't respect them. But uh, anyway, maybe he's secretly <coughs> been a Kingdom Hearts fan this whole time, and he just wanted to bring everything into Kingdom Hearts. Mm. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Maybe. Or maybe Walt Disney is actually alive. <laughs> he's secretly assassinating Jews all over the world. Ah. Why is he Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Jews. I'd like to think if he was still alive as like an animated head, he would uh, change his ways, because he was allegedly very racist. <laughs>